Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we get in and talk about everything, okay? And what's buzzing in them streets today? <laughs> what's buzzing? Oh, the meter has burst again. All right. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. I don't understand what's going on in society today. What's dropping down in social media? And exploding on social media's platforms all around the globe, down in them airways that's reaching us. I tell you, you just can't make this stuff up. Is it fake news? I don't know. But one of the hottest newscasting for us, information to, um, well, informative news, uh, philanthropy type news. Philanthropy, uh, trying to say, I'm sorry. Um, entertainment news, okay? On all walks of life out here. The hot topic we're going to break today is on none other than Amber Portwood. I don't know what's going on with this girl, but Fox News had the juice, okay? They had all of the tea, the coffee, the wine, everything that you wanted to just sit back Take a sip and invest your time in this nonsense. Okay, Fox News reported today, all right, Amber Portwood charged with three felonies. Not one, not two, but three. Okay, three felonies after allegedly attacking boyfriend with a machete. Can you say machete? She was finna slice and dice people. Slicing and dicing. And I ain't talking about vegetables on a cutting board. Okay? I'm talking about real fleshy type meat. Human being. Okay? I don't know what got into her. <laughs> but it caused her to pick up a dangerous weapon and just start playing in the air and getting closer and closer to her target victim. Okay? That she wanted to slice and dice. I swear you can't make this stuff up. Now, if it's not true, then it's fake news. But it was reported on a well reputable, well known entity of an advertisement of journalistic news. Okay, we're talking about Fox News. Okay. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. And it was uh, written by a journalist by the name of Jessica Napoli. All right. Hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. If I am not, hey, Lala, I didn't want to wake you up. Um, She's one of the correspondents over there writing this stuff down. Like I say, it happened eight hours ago. Woo. All right. It reads, Amber Portwood has been charged with three felonies after she was arrested during a domestic violence related incident last week in Indiana. That's right. I don't think it was Gary in Indiana where Michael Jackson uh, grew up. It just says in Indiana. So anybody wanted to do extra research, go ahead. Go ahead. Take your time. Research it out. Get back with me. Okay. It says the teen mom star 29 reportedly hit her boyfriend, Andrew Glennon, while he was holding their son. The police report obtained by Fox News explained, according to new court documents, Portwood was welding a machete during the alleged altercation. Welding is pretty much like just letting it go in the air. You know, just, you know how you um, watch karate type movies and they doing those nut chucks type thing. Just let it just going. You know, it has no uh, designated target. It's just going all willy nilly. Okay, <sighs> but it was in first sight, okay, and I'm sure Mr. Glennon was fearful of his life, as well as the child, okay, and that's like somebody picking up a knife and just coming at you, you don't know if they're going to land there uh, and hit their target, or you're going to have to, like, do some uh, real quick thinking on your feet and just be moving around, okay, to avoid that hit, if you get my drill, okay, that attack, whoo, but anyway, moving back on to the story they wrote, it says uh, the reality star is now facing charges of domestic battery, criminal recklessness committed with a deadly weapon and domestic battery committed in the presence of a child. 
<coughs> less than 16 years old. Hell, I don't care if she was one year old. He was one year old. Child, please. Six months. Three months. One month. That shouldn't have been done. Okay? I don't know what possessed her, child. What possessed her to pick up anything and just be hauling it in the air from side to side. Seeing if she can get something to pop off. <laughs> understand people make it make sense because it don't all right what state of mind was she in at the time that she would not only want to endanger herself but two other innocent people come on come on miss amber but you bringing it to us and that's why you're gonna be looked at very carefully put on our microscope examine from head to toe to see what in the world Caused you to want to commit these acts. Allegedly now. Allegedly. Okay. It goes on to say. Um, Team Monstar. Files, the files were charged. In an Indiana prosecution. On Tuesday. No. I'm sorry. The charges were filed by an Indiana prosecutor. On Tuesday, and Glennon is also reported filing for sole custody of their son James. Okay, what would supposedly struck a door? Glennon was standing behind with a machete in order to create substantial risk of bodily injury to him. <coughs> That's what E News reported. Okay, so it's a lot of commentary. I mean, a lot of journalists getting their commentary in on this, Miss Amber. Okay, Miss Amber is lighting up these. Airways and it's not in a good light. It's not in a good light, Lord. Okay. E News is reporting. Prosecutors claim that she did knowingly touch Glennon in a rude, insolent, or angry manner in front of their child, knowing a child was present and might be able to see or hear the offense. All right. A not guilty plea was entered and a non contact order was issued until she returns to court at the end of the month. As Fox News previously reported, on Portwood was arrested on July 5th, okay? Teen mom, OG Amber Portwood, says she had to quit the show after miscarriage episode. So now what is she called? Is she claiming that she ain't fit upstairs? The memory is, is lacking in serotonin and other brain wave activities? Is that what she's trying to tell us? Okay, that's the case she's trying to go for. Go ahead, honey. It goes on to say just at the 3 a.m. on July 5th, officers were called to whatever plaintiff's address referenced a disturbance. Officers spoke to the male victim who stated his living girlfriend and he were having a disagreement, during which time the female later identified as Amber Porter assaulted him while he was holding their one-year-old child. A spokesperson for the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department revealed in a statement. Okay, this is in Port, Portwood's first brush with the law. In 2010, she was arrested and charged with domestic violence after a fight with her ex-fiance and father of her older daughter, Gary Shirley. Portwood served 17 months in jail. So, see, I don't know. It says reality shows, in a, in a sense, turning these people to act crazy. See, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes people ain't ready for television and all that it encompass. Some people just ain't ready, okay? And I know for a fact this is Amber Portwood one ready, okay? Not welding a machete, putting everybody's lives in danger, including her own, okay? Especially if she missed her intended target. And then you got this other lady I reported on, Janelle Evans. She running around. With a boyfriend acting all willy nilly. I don't know. It's something in the water. It's something in the food. It's something in the medication. It's driving these people to create such a ruckus out here. And it ain't good. It ain't good. It ain't good for population. And it ain't good for them. Because now they're looking at serving some serious time. Okay? Prayers go up to these two unfortunate human beings. Okay? Well, three unfortunate Human beings. I'm talking about Janelle Evans and I'm talking about um, the boyfriend of Amber Portwood that he had to go through all this stuff and a child too and a child. I'm like, 
what a one-year-old gonna hear anyway? They gonna be looking at the body expressions and all the loud noise going on with uh, Amber and her boyfriend. You ain't gonna be able to recollect and give statements. What are you talking about? Okay, you just can't make this stuff up. That's why it's written down for us to partake in it. Okay. Oh, but that was my story. Fox News broke it. Yep, yeah, y'all know Fox News. Some people say it's fake news. I don't know. They give it to us. We swallow it. We digest it. And then we come up with our own interpretation of what's the truth. Hold on, y'all. Why are we coming out here disturbing me? Lord, I tell you, it ain't my child. It's the dogs up here. I'm trying to always interrupt my taping time. And I try to do it when I think they sleep. And they don't want to be bothered with nobody. But they still come back and just get on my nerves. But y'all, that's all I had. On Miss Amber Portwood. It's just a, a crime and a shame. A shame and a scandal. Anything that you want to say. Hi, these people out here are conducting themselves in the public eye. Who and out of the public eye. Okay. Like I always say. If you're going to do crime. And you can't afford to do the time. Do the crime by yourself. Letting you and the Lord know. Because at a time you divulge stuff. Somebody is going to have an unfortunate situation. They're going to be looking at. Okay. So, peace and blessings to you all. That was my top hot topic discussion I wanted to have with you all on this Amber Portwood situation. It don't look good, y'all. It don't look good for her. Uh, she like, must like just staying in jail. But then, you know, that's an upside to some people because they got food, shelter, and clothing. Okay? And then they got health care benefits. So, kind of look like a win-win if you like to be told what to do, when to come, when to go. And you like hearing electronics doors or... Um, Shutting up behind you, leaving you no way of escape unless they want to let you out. Situation. You want those kind of people want to be cooped up in one area in a, a confined space? They go ahead, fill the jail houses, <laughs> but don't bring that stuff here. Okay. But that was your news reporting correspondent, Deb Chanel's 48th World, bringing it to you piping hot. Hope you all liked it. Please, 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 please share my videos, like my videos, and subscribe to my channel. Do that for me. And we all win. We all win. Okay? You get my commentary with a little twisted version of a little kiki, ha-ha here and there. <laughs> and I get to be climbing these charts, okay? And coming into your households and making you like my family, okay? Because I feel like y'all are my family. I'm just talking, having a conversation. Getting comments from you all. Responding back to you all. It's a conversation. It's an interaction we having. So I call that family. But check out my next video. Don't know what it's going to be. But if I got on the tube talking about it, it was important to me. All right. Y'all be blessed. Talk to you soon. Good night.